Hi, this is Steve Feaster with GNC's Total Lean Challenge. Welcome back to phase three. This is your second workout. Yesterday was an upper body workout, a push pull with supersets. Today we're primarily focusing on lower body. Again, with the supersets, you're gonna have a couplet, two exercises pushed together with no rest in between. You can rest up to 60 seconds between rounds. Now remember, if you're doing an exercise for six to eight repetitions, we wanna pick something that's got a lot of resistance to it. If it's gonna be from eight to 15 repetitions, then go with moderate resistance. Now, because of the superset, the nature of a superset, you're gonna fatigue relatively fast, so it's important to pick the right amount of resistance. All right, follow me through this first couplet. The first couplet is six to eight repetitions of a squat, followed by six to eight repetitions of a single-legged deadlift. Fantastic exercise for the core, but moreover for the low body. The first exercise is a squat. We need to don the bar onto the back of our neck. We want to weight up our heels. Now the weight is not resting on my neck, it's across my traps and shoulders. We don't want this to push your neck forward, so keep it down your back just a hair uh, along your traps and shoulders. My hands are out shoulder width apart. I start by hinging my hips and I descend down, making sure that my knees don't go in front of my toes. I get all the way down as deep as I feel comfortable, chin is in neutral, and I push out on my heels. We're doing this for eight repetitions. Push off of your heels, keep your core nice and strong, generate the power through your heels and your glutes. Do not let your knees go in front of your toes. Eight repetitions. The next exercise, we're primarily hitting the hamstrings and glutes. It's a superset, so there's no rest. I'm picking my left leg first. We need to do both sides. I like using a bench back here for my right leg. I descend down from my hips as low as I can, slight bend in that leg, and up. What I don't want to do is allow my spine to flex or stay curved. So keep that back straight. I'm loading up my glute. So this is for my left side, my left hamstring, and my left glute. Six to eight repetitions of the squats, followed by six to eight repetitions of straight legged deadlifts on the left, and then I repeat it on the right. Then I can rest 60 seconds, and I go through this for three more rounds. So this is a four round couplet. All right, let's get that one done. The next couplet, we're focusing on quadriceps glutes, as well as posterior chain, muscles like the hamstrings, the low back, and the gluteals. All right, this one's gonna be 10 to 12 repetitions of step ups. I pick some moderate weight, I'm gonna use 30 pounds. You don't need any weight at all. If it's already challenging for you to step up six to 12 reps, that's fine. And then we're moving to 12 to 15 repetitions of leg curls, and I'm using a fit ball for that. This is how this one is gonna go. I like to alternate steps. So I'm gonna go up, up, down, switch legs. Up, up, down. 10 to 12 repetitions of step ups. I'm gonna shoot for the entire 12. After 12 repetitions of step ups, put your dumbbells on the ground, lay down, put your heels on the ball. Now push your legs a little further out so that you have room to pull this ball in. Hands are flat, I wanna bridge up, roll in, and push out without letting my butt go back down. 15 repetitions, stay bridged. Can you see how I'm exciting those gluteal muscles, my hamstring muscles, my low back? Out and in, I'm pushing down with my heels, elevating my body. You wanna take this up a notch? Try it with just one leg. After you get through step ups and leg curls, you can rest 60 seconds before completing this couplet two more times. All right, we have one more couplet left to go. The last superset is reverse lunges and wall sits. We're going to do 10 to 12 reverse lunges with moderate resistance, followed by a wall sit, and I promise your body weight is going to provide enough resistance for that. That's gonna be a 30 second hold on the wall. All right, 10 to 12 repetitions with reverse lunges. What I love about reverse lunges is my center of gravity doesn't move. I'm not having to move forward or back. All I have to do is move down. Make sure you bend that back leg. Let's alternate. 10 to 12 repetitions, straight down, straight up. If weight is too much, you might choose not to use any resistance for this exercise at first. 10 to 12 repetitions. So we're focusing on the quads and the glutes. We'd immediately go to the wall. There's no rest between the reverse lunges and the wall sit. I descend down, my quads are horizontal. My tibia or shins are perpendicular. My hands are out, shoulders back, head here, 30 seconds. 
Now I know when I get done with this, I can rest 60 seconds before my next two rounds. So this superset, we're doing three times. Reverse lunges, wall sit, rest 60 seconds. Then you do it two more times. So in review, the first superset was squats and single leg deadlifts. That was quads, glutes. Now we did that for four rounds. The next one was step ups and hamstring curls on the ball. And we did that one for three rounds. And then of course the last one, reverse lunges and wall sits. And we did that for three rounds. Some of the tools, guys, don't get messed up about the tools. If you don't have a bar, you might need to use dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, just find some kind of resistance you can use. It's okay to use bands, it's okay to use dumbbells, it's okay to use bars. Just try to find something that's gonna challenge you, 